Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi there, I'm your host Casey Marie Hurt, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of some Irish step dancing on the reformer. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It is my favorite day of the year. I'm so happy that I get to share a little bit of my heritage with you. So if you've ever seen the beautiful Irish step dancers, they are incredible to watch. To see how long and lean their upper body is and they do all the stepping and jumping with their nice strong feet, oh my gosh, such an amazing athletic performance. It is very hard to do if any of you have done it. You have to have an incredible amount of leg and foot strength to be able to jump that much with the upper body being still and the arms being at the side. So we're gonna take our inspiration from those beautiful dancers and we're gonna play with the jump board a little bit. Uh, right now I have two red springs uh, on our balanced body reformer, so those are two heavy springs. Feel free to do a heavy and a light spring. It just depends on if your clients or yourself are used to using the jump board. So I definitely got um, a nice little bit of a pillow here to give some thoracic anchoring down into the mat. It's very tempting to want to have the headrest all the way down and to be flat on the reformer, but especially with the type of jumping that we're gonna be doing with the feet rather low on the jump board, it's gonna really wanna make your heart center lift up too much and we wanna to try to keep those nice neutral anchors. So the pillow, I would say, is a must have. Of course, if you don't have this uh, smart spine pillow, you can always take a few other pillows just to get this nice even slope down to get your heart center down onto the mat. So onto the jumping. So I'm gonna lay down here on the reformer, get myself nice and settled. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a foot warm up exercise that Elizabeth Larkham had taught me. And I'm gonna actually pull this a little bit to get my thoracic spine down just right. And so from here, it's like you're gonna do the worm through your feet. So you're trying to curl the toes under and then the heel down, trying not to lock the knees, which is very difficult to do. And then you're gonna climb back up. Lots and lots of arch work. And here, as you're doing this with your clients, you can start to cue that you want their femur heads to travel up into their pelvis, really cueing their neutral spine, getting everything together. And so from here, I'm gonna bring my feet back down so that if I can, I can actually be in an open hip position, uh, almost like I'm truly standing on the jump board, okay? So trying to get to zero extension. Now to start from this, this is not gonna be a large jump. It's not a full knee jump, it's a straight leg jump. So feet and ankles have to do so much. So I'm gonna start jumping here rolling from ball of the foot to heel. Now it takes an incredible amount of abdominal control to not arch the spine while you're doing this. So you can go into jumping here, cueing that you can almost not hear even a little bit of the foot going onto the jump board. Very hard to do. If you have your clients do jump board and you see that the reformers are skidding on the floor, don't put non-slip pads underneath. Tell them to control their jumps through their feet, which makes 10 times more work, and that they can't slam into the jump board, okay? So that they have that complete control and precision. From here, you don't have to do parallel, you can just you can do turn now, and then you can even go into some little beats. Again, straight legs, lots of work through the inner thighs, the hips, and the feet, and you can go into whatever choreography you want. But this, again, really does take that beautiful inspiration from those Irish step dancers and brings it into great work into the studio from the bottom of the feet to the crown of the head. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.